Okay, so um, instead of storing our points inside of a simple list, we're going to use another type of variable to store our points um, in a more ordered fashion. To do that, we're going to use a dictionary, right? And a dictionary is a way for us to not just have one big long list of points, but to have points that are organized in a manner that makes sense to us. So not just one big long collection, but um, a more ordered set. So the difference between a dictionary and a list is that dictionaries store our values, but they store them with a key. So the comparison is that on a list, we have an index that tells us how to be able to access that particular item. But on a dictionary, we're actually storing it with a key. And a key can be anything. It can be your name, Ronnie, Gil, Mode. It could be anything, right? It can be numerical or textual in nature. But the idea is just like uh, in a dictionary, uh, the book, right, the dictionary book, if you wanted to look up the definition of a particular word, where that entry is, you use the actual word itself to, define, to find where the definition is. All right, so uh, recap. We have, an, a, we have a value that's associated with a key, right? Um, that means that uh, we're able to create more complex associations, right? So, for instance, if we look here, we can access anything labeled D in my dictionary, and it will, re will define that value as being associated with that key. And that allows us to also access the um, elements inside of that dictionary, right? Okay, so we're going to modify our script just a little bit so that instead of one list, we now have a dictionary um, that is storing all of our points. Okay, so um, I'm going to save this before we go any further, and we're not going to start from scratch this time, but we're going to keep developing on top of this file. So let's um, make sure that we save as... 3-1, uh, 3, 1-3a, okay, all right, and let's go in to our object here, and let's uh, type out our pseudocode, right, so a lot of this is going to be the same, but the difference is that instead of defining the output as a list, we're going to define the output as a dictionary, right, so coming back to the previous que uh, one of the previous questions, what's the difference, or does it matter if it's a parentheses or a hard bracket? Um, here, instead of saying a equals um, open bracket, close bracket, we're going to say open curly bracket, close curly bracket. Again, that's shift bracket next to your P uh, key on your keyboard. Right? So those are curly brackets. That means that it should be understood as a dictionary. Okay, and the only other thing that really is going to change is that down here, instead of appending, we can't use that method for our um, to store our point. We have to modify how this is uh, defined. So what we're going to do is that we're going to say that instead of append, we're going to say um, a open brackets, open parentheses, I comma J, close parentheses, close brackets, equals my point. And this is saying that my point is going to be stored inside the dictionary A, and the key that's going to allow me to access it is I comma J. And the key here, we're using the counter, right, so that we have a very easy way to know where we, where we are in the grid of points. So if I want to get to the point that's three over and one up, I'm just going to say A2, zero, right? So I say three over, one up, right? So zero, one, two, zero, one. So those would be um, our values inside of I and J to access that point. All right, so we don't need this line anymore. 
And instead, I'll update my pseudocode here. We're going to um, add the point to our dictionary. If I hit OK, let's take a look at what we get. Um, we do get a kind of successful result here from our Python object. Um, there's not anything coming out as an output. There's no errors. But let's take a look at what A is. We said that we wanted to store um, the points inside of A. What do you think the, what do you think is actually happening here? Uh, here's our, our panel to displaying the output of A. What do these look like? Do these look like points or do these look like something else? Some other aspect to a dictionary. If you have a suggestion of what these look like, go ahead and drop it into the question window. Yes. These are our keys. When we return a dictionary from the GH Python object, it only shows us the keys. It doesn't actually show us the points. So, of course, this guy throws an error uh, because it doesn't have a point input here. And what we're getting uh, coming out of A are just the list of keys. Now, another thing to note about the difference between a list and a dictionary when we store things in a dictionary, the keys and values are not sorted automatically. They're randomly stored inside of the computer's memory, right? So the keys here you can see are uh, bouncing all over the place in terms of what column and ro what row they are. But the benefit is that anytime we want to access the point that's three over and one up, right, we can go to that particular key and get the point that goes along with that key. 